Hi, my name is Charles Crawford, and in this video, I'm going to talk about SEO for small businesses. So, as you know, if you're a local business owner, you know, being on the first page of Google is huge. So, I'm going to teach you some SEO tricks that's going to help your small business dominate the first page of Google. So, let's get started. So, first, um, before we really even get into SEO, you need to be on Google Maps because that's going to be huge. So just Google, get on Google Maps, um, and then you know, first couple of listings are pretty much all you need. So you can come here, then log in. Um, yeah, ninety-seven percent of consumers search for local businesses online, right there, because especially when people search with their phone, when you're in Google Maps, it, it comes up. So then they can just click on your, your little icon and then they can get directions, GPS from Google to your restaurant. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, it's really easy. This is just the main, the main concept. You can just use Google for everything. So, you know, this is actual the Google Maps itself. So this is the site you want, google.com slash places for business. So. Yeah, I'll just log in real quick. Um, yeah, so you just put in all your information and then you just keep going. So that's why, yeah. Okay, so now the next part of this video, um, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to get some more SEO tricks for small business owners. And, okay. So keywords is important when you're vocal because there's less competition for local niches than you know big keywords that get millions of searches a month. So I would use the Google AdWords keyword search tool. Just Google the Google t keyword tool and it'll come right up. Um, then you search out the best keywords that uh, your customers will be typing into Google. That's the main th main question you have to ask yourself. So if you want to rank for best restaurant in Scottsdale or something like that, that would be the keyword you want to focus on. And yeah, so yeah, I'll get a new tab. Okay, so this is what the keyword tool looks like. So it should be, yeah, there we go. Okay. So best restaurants in Scottsdale gets Googled 5,400 times a month. So it's just, it's just a good way to gauge keywords. Then you can go to Google Insights for search to see trends and the most popular restaurants. Now, this is a pretty niche term, so they might not have too much info. Um, so it's kind of been it's been increasing a little bit, um, but yeah, they didn't have enough volume to show more. If you just do, let's try. Try that. Okay, here we are. So these are rising searches. So Scottsdale Quarter restaurants in Scottsdale Quarter have been increasing a lot. And then, okay, restaurants, Scottsdale AZ is the one that's been getting searched the most out of all these related terms. So, let's, uh, it'll be interesting. Let's check GoDaddy and see if that's open. Restaurants, Scottsdale, AZ. Um, taken. But yeah, so that's just a good good tool. So, but keywords is only like 20% or less of SEO. So the most important part is backlinks. 
And for backlinks, there's a cool trick. If you go to addurl.nu, this site has a list of a bunch of high PR directories. PR is PageRank. So basically, dmoz.org is a huge site directory that has a bunch of business listings. So you can go here and you can submit your URL, go through, follow these steps on this page, and if they accept you, you'll get link juice from pay PR of seven, which is huge. It's like getting a few thousand backlinks from normal websites. So that's just amazing. So I'd submit your site to these websites if you can. Um, some of them you won't be able to, but a lot of them you can. Um, that's a huge one for backlinks. And then another one I recommend for backlinks is one hour backlinks .com. Um, I use these all the time to write my YouTube videos, which is probably why you're seeing this video on YouTube. So very cheap, post tie high PR blogs. You can get do follow links and it's just amazing. So if you click the link below in this video, you actually get sent right over there. And yeah, so basically backlinks and keywording are the most important part for small businesses. But Google Maps for sure. You definitely have to be on Google Maps. And the basic concepts there is always, you know, put your keywords first in the you know in the title and description and everything you want to rank for. Um, yeah, I mean that's the basics of keywording and then backlinks. You just need high PR backlinks. So these are a couple of tricks for small businesses and actually here's another one that's great. Um, so, okay, so let's go to Google. And so when you type in something into Google, um, it brings down suggested searches. So if we type in, um, let's say, Let's see. Um, okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, this is an example. S someone's name or someone's company versus another one. It's suggested, but there's a way you can manipulate the Google suggested searches, which is huge. So if you were a restaurant owner and your main competitor was the main company that drew business away from you, you could do like your company name, like your restaurant name versus another restaurant name, or you reverse that. And then you could buy the domain name. So let's say it's Joe's Cafe versus Louie's Barbecue, and you guys both serve the same type of menu. You could you can manipulate the search by going to this site, shorttask.com, and you can basically pay people like a couple cents to do searches for you because this is all the Google suggested search is all um, these are all searched by volume. That's how these are here. So if you're getting thousands of people for a, couple, a few cents to search it, that's gonna drive up whatever you're telling them to search. So if everyone's searching, Joe's Barbecue versus Louie's Cafe or whatever. That's going to be the first suggested result. Then you buy the domain name, Joe's Barbecue versus Louie's Cafe, and you build a website solely on that domain name, that keyword phrase, and then the content basically sells people on why your restaurant is the best. Then you give them links to go check out your website and your menu and all that, and you're on Google Maps, and you rank your site on Google through good keywording and backlinks, and you'll be set. So yeah, I'd go check out one of our backlinks, the uh, link below in the video. And my name is Charles Crawford, and thank you for watching this SEO video for small businesses. Thanks.